You're not acting like an adult right now. You're not acting like an adult right now. Adults don't do this. Move out! You're not Ruth, acting get like an adult. Get out of the house now. Okay? You are an adult now. Get out of my house. You're not acting like an adult. You are 40 or 50 years old, and I am 19 years old, and you are acting like a kid. You don't throw stuff at your kid like that. Okay? Today, move all of your stuff out. Okay? Or I won't move it for you. Okay? All right, look, guys. We're going to run this back and break it down as the issues present themselves, okay? Let's go. You're not acting like an adult right now. You're not acting like an adult right now. Adults don't do this. Oh, wow. You're not Ruth, acting like an adult. Now. So the video starts off with the daughter saying, you're not acting like an adult right now. Obviously, the mother is upset at something she's been doing. Okay, so she's been on OnlyFans and the mother now knows. Okay, so when she confronts the daughter about it, she wants the daughter to leave. She's infuriated. She's hurt. She's humiliated. And obviously, this, this is understood. But the daughter knows she's looking at her mother in a panicked state, but she's going to put her on live, which is another thing she's doing wrong, okay? The mother's infuriated, but the daughter feels like she can lecture the mom on her behavior. This is the silliness right here. You're not acting like an adult right now. You're not acting like an adult. She's saying, get out of my house. What? An adult will tell you to get out of the house if you don't follow their rules, if you disrespect them. But she's not acting like an adult. Let's continue. Get out of the house now! Okay? You are an adult now. Get out of my house! You're not acting like an adult. Get out of my house now. Is this not understood? You're an adult now. You can go. Get on out of my house. Her response is, you're not acting like an adult. Professional point missers. Professional point missers, but professional DJs turn the tables on you. We'll call you exactly what they are. We'll tell you you're doing exactly what they are doing. Let's continue. You are 40 or 50 years old, and I am 19 years old, and you are acting Ooh, like... right there. You're 40 or 50 years old, and I'm 19 years old. Mother pulls a gum out of her mouth. This, is, this lets you know you disgust me right now. The image I'm seeing coming from the person I love. The person I expected so much from. Destroying everything I've ever believed and disrespecting me and my entire family and lineage. Embarrassing me. Threw a gum at her, man. She just told her to get out. You don't think if she would've just, okay, I'll leave. You think she would've still threw the gum at her? Or is it her response and all this right here to how she feels right now? Let's continue. Like a kid, you don't throw stuff at your kid like that. Now, she tell her, okay, you're an adult, you can get out. Her response is, you're not acting like an adult right now. I am, you, you're 40, 50 something, I'm 19. She takes the gum out, throws it at her. And the daughter says, you don't throw stuff at your kid. Now, wait a second, time out. She's 40, 50 something. She's not acting like an adult, right? You're 19. So who's acting like a kid when you say, don't, you shouldn't throw things at your kid. You're 19, you're not a kid. Why play the victim? That piece of gum didn't hurt you at all. Get your stuff and get out. You've disrespected your mother. How's this not understood? She's enraged at your behavior right now. You got her on live and all you can do is just keep on bouncing things back at her like she's doing something wrong. And then whenever she throws the gum at you because she's infuriated, instead of recognizing, okay, wait a second, I'm doing too much here. You try and judge her for throwing the damn gum. So it's like they will be as bad as they want to be. Act out of pocket as they want to be. And when they get something out of you, they'll call it out. And they want you to be accountable to it. All the while ignoring all the points you're making. They want to be understood, but will professionally misunderstand you. It's completely unreal. You know you hurt her feelings. You know you humiliated her. You know she did not expect at all to ever see her child showing her ass online. Doing freaky shit online. From the house. You, you want her, so, so she's supposed to say, okay, you know what? You're my daughter. I love everything you do. It don't matter what you do. Just stay in the house and I just got to fall back. But that comes from parents sitting here spoiling their children. We worship the children that we have. They're our creation, yet we are worshiping them. We are their gods. We're supposed to structure them, advise them, guide them, and lead them. They're supposed to look up to us. Instead, we let them drive the car. Just imagine a little toy car wheel inside of an actual automobile. And the child's pretending to drive. We're actually, we're actually letting the child drive by chasing their emotions, telling them what they want to hear in fear that we'll let them down. Yo, 
We're underdeveloped and we can't even tell our own children what's right and wrong without feeling like we're going to hurt their feelings. And so now all they think about is their feelings are prevalent. We're raising them to be narcissists. And then when you finally had enough and try and tell them, guess what they do? Fight for their feelings and misunderstand yours. Because guess what? All we've been doing for our whole time is acknowledging their feelings. We don't tell our children how they're making us feel about how they're behaving. We don't do this. We want to make sure that they feel okay. Nah, man, behaviors is more important than anything. Raising your children to do the right thing is more important than anything. Because they'll destroy your whole heritage and themselves. If you love them, raise them right or they'll hate you for it. I'm telling you. Right now, she's upset that her mother's kicking her out. Years down the road, she'll probably appreciate this because years down the road, this will be one of the worst mistakes she ever made in her life. You as a parent, if you say, well, okay, that's okay. You just stay on here. They'll hate you for that too. They'll say, why didn't you tell me better? Why didn't you do something about it? Why didn't you teach me this so I can be a better person at this? Why didn't you teach me that so I could be better at that? So I could go further in life at this. That's what they'll come back saying to you. So do the right thing, parents. Let's go. Okay. I'll add one more for you. Okay? Move all your stuff today or I will move it for you. I love how the mother doesn't go down these trails, these, these little paths of, of, of uh, deflection or misdirection or distraction that the daughter's trying to put out there. You're not acting like a, an adult. I'm so grateful that the mother didn't say, what do you mean I'm not acting like an adult and try to explain this to them even further because they know what's happening. They just don't want you to call out the issue, so they'll, they'd rather deflect it back onto you. I love how the mother didn't respond back to, you don't throw things at your kid, mom. I love how her mother just said, get your things today, or I'll move it for you. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to make the better decision for mine and your life. That's it. I don't care what you have to say. And this is how you know you're dealing with a demon, yo. They love to talk. They, they're not about action at all. They'd rather talk and try to, get, try to do away with what you're saying and get you to believe something else so they can control your mind. Do you understand? Now I'm speaking conceptually now. A demon is the double, the devil, the flesh, right? The lower version of yourself. The side of you that's just all about earthly desires, what things feel like to your flesh, what makes you feel good in this moment. You're not thinking with spiritual eyes. You're not looking down the road, right? You're thinking one-sided or as I call it, one-sided because we're just peepholes. People, but I like to slow it down, we're peepholes. We only see from a point of, from a point of view right so when we're looking through that one point of view flesh we are demons we're out for what we want and we don't care how it makes anybody else feel or the damage that it causes down the road we're not thinking that right so whenever you have a person like that in your life that is a demon they're going to ruin your life if you're a man and you have a wife who likes to overspend and she just makes you feel like a piece of crap and goes and ruins all your accounts not caring for the future that you're trying to build or the money that you worked and saved the money you worked to earn that is a demon that is not a harmonic relationship. A demon is never in agreement with you. They're always trying to do the opposite thing. They come to steal, kill, and destroy. You have to understand this. So when you're seeing this conceptually, right? When you are seeing this and you say, you make a point, they're going to make a nine point because they're not harmonic. They're not going to hear what you say, understand how you feel, and then say something to what you just said. They're going to say something else, right? If you say leave, which is the action thing to do because devils love to talk, right? They're about idle conversation. They're going to want you to talk to them. So they'll just skew the point to try and get you to talk. When the action thing to do is talking is done. I'm done with it. I can't put up with you in my life anymore. I can't work with you because you're a devil. You're non-harmonic. You keep disrupting everything. You're going to do what you want to do regardless of how I feel. That's not working together. Now you have to go. No, I want to talk. Why, 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 why? I want to talk. Make the decision and just get rid of them. You have to cast them out. When you see this depicted on TV and you're trying to tell, you're trying to cast the demon out, they never want to leave. They, they say whatever, say whatever, but they don't ever want to leave. You got to make the decision to just say, you got to go, man. It's that simple. Now, I'm about to step on some toes. You know you're in a relationship with a demon when all they do is lie instead of listening to your points. All they do is change the subject when you try and explain something to them, right? Professional point misser. You could be a man in a relationship with a demon for a wife. And she'll tell you, I dress like this for me. I make these changes to my body for me. Like she gets to see her ass from behind her. Like she gets to see them eyes that she's changing the color of. It's so unreal. They'll just lie and, and excuse themselves. This is why I'm doing it for me. They don't even care what the husband is saying to them, right? Th imagine this, you know you're you know you married to a demon 
for a husband, when you're saying to him, yo, your gambling habits is destroying the family. Your, your uh, addictions are destroying the family. And all they seem to do is miss the point and say they're doing it because it makes them feel better. They make the money, they're welcome to spend it. They're welcome to gamble it away. So they can drink themselves under a table that they asking asking you, what are you bringing something to, right? They can gamble away the house at home that they're asking you to keep clean and cook in, right? Makes no sense. They'll cheat on you, break your heart, knowing that you're not gonna respond the same, having your heart broken, but they'll just say, I'm a man. You know you're with the demon when they don't care how you feel and they continue to act that way. Cast them out or remove yourself from them. It makes no sense. They just want to talk. They don't want to change. they rather say to you, I'll do better going forward, but that's not actually doing better going forward. Those are just words to keep you in place. When you're trying to cast the demon out, they never want to leave. They, they want to talk. They want to talk you into, into staying in their life, right? That's all it is. They're not going to change because actions speak louder than words. Do you believe a God that can see all the way into the future, ha has lived for an eternity, would even trust the words of you, you a grain of sand compared to him? What do you know compared to a God? You think a God who knows everything before it happens would care to hear you say, I'm going to change going forward. God already know your actions is all it is. All it is is going to be your actions. People talk, man. Towers of Babel. Real quick. They were building a tower of Babel into heaven, right? A Bible story. Building a tower, tower of Babel into heaven. Create Building one. God notices this and said, wow, if man joined together, there is nothing they can't do. Wow, nothing they can't do if they join together, if they work together, right? So God says, I'm going to confuse their tongue. So God goes down, changes the tongue. They start speaking different languages. Now they don't have communication, right? Now they're talking. Towers of Babel change the languages. Notice this, that's what the Bible says. This is a parable. Talk is cheap. I can watch someone from another country build a home and learn how to build it with no words. Actions break barriers. So we're thinking that we have to understand each other by what we're saying. I ain't got to understand it. I just got to be about that action. So why do I have to explain to a person I'm going to do better going forward? That's just talking. That's a tower of Babel. That's just confusion. God shouldn't be the author of confusion. So show me better than you can tell me. Right? It's all about that. We love to talk instead of doing. So that's when we know we're possessed as well. Love to talk. The next thing that you want out of life, family, just say to yourself, what would that look like? What would it look like? Because I'm a show them better than I can tell them. I ain't going to say it all. I'm about to, this, to do this. I'm about to do that. Watch what I do next. No, just do it. Don't even say, I want this thing. I want that thing. Get up and do what it takes to get that thing. Watch. You see the difference from being a tower of Babel than being a person who actually know how to communicate with the universe. Action, family. If you're not in action, you are a demon. Trust me, the way to hell is paved with good intentions. I'm noticing a trend here. The last video where the father's kicking the son out because he came out the closet on live. Notice how the son keeps deflecting and not dealing with the points that the father is making. He keeps saying, you're not giving me a real reason why I have to go. Even though the father is saying you disgrace the family, it's because of you. You're not you're, you're not who I raised you to be. All these are indications as to what's going on. Get out of my house, man. You just saying get out, Dad, but y'all ain't even telling me a real reason. What's the reason? You look at this. Treat you're me. not telling me the reason. You you're not. This look how you treat me, though. You're talking look about you. under my roof. You're a disgrace what? to the family. You're disrespectful what you mean? to me. What you mean? You're not what I what, what I've been raising. What I used to be raising. You're a whole nother. Person. What are you talking about, Contessa? You know why? Why? Tell me the reason. Don't put that on What's me. the reason? You're the reason. Help us step all over the floor. What about, I, what about the family privacy? What about our privacy? What are you? Why you keep breaking the family up? This between me and you. I just want you to know. I just want you to address the issue. What's really the issue? I never took this question. I never. I never took this You're disrespecting me now. How? You're putting people into our business. You're recording me. Get out of my house. Man. I want people to see how I'm being treated. All you know what? You, you so you're so stupid and close minded. You so stupid and close minded. You close minded. You close minded. You close minded. Like you stupid. Like this is dumb. You stupid. I'm, I'm gone. The son has three inch eyelashes on with lipstick on, big full grown beard. He's a grown ass man in there looking silly. And he's not trying to understand what his daddy is saying. Now, the last video, I completely understood some of the young man's plight as he just came home and saw all of his clothes on the floor. Hey, look at this. I, I come home and you packing my stuff for what? Yeah, you going you through my drawers, you in my room? What are you doing? You tell me why. What are you doing? 
and and also it's a sexuality is probably not something he chose I don't understand that those types of things so that we're still learning them I have to stand back and just say hey I, I got to try and understand what somebody is experiencing so I can understand that this is not blatantly disrespecting you going out of your way but you feel disrespected by the person's lifestyle with these with this particular video this is downright disrespectful behavior. It is not your sexuality to put your ass on, on OnlyFans. It's just not. That's that's blatant disrespect. If my son were heterosexual and he was on OnlyFans, he gonna have to go too. That's embarrassing as hell. You're not about to be in my house sitting here doing that and putting it on camera. No, it's disrespectful as hell. No, no. But what's happening is whether or not the situation is understandable, when the parent is trying to tell you this is how I feel about it, you have to respect that this is how they feel about it, whether it's right or wrong, they're not perfect. And sometimes you gotta leave well enough, well enough alone out of respect, especially when you are an adult. You chose to live that life. You have to understand they're gonna feel the way they feel about it and just like you didn't make you feel this way, they're not making themselves feel that way. Y'all don't understand they grew up in a culture where this stuff wasn't okay. Whether or not homosexuality is right or wrong, People who grew up way back in the day was taught it was directly wrong. So now all their teachers are dead and gone. Their parents are dead and gone. All the people who taught them and programmed this, them, them this way of thinking is dead and gone. They look up still thinking this way and the whole world is looking at them like they're bigots. Yo. And then I, the, the, your children are putting them online. They, they don't. These children are only fighting for how they feel. They do not understand at all what their parents are going through. They ain't had kids yet. They don't know what it's like to have all this hope and expectation in your child. Yeah, it's ego. We got to work on that. But we ain't there yet. We're underdeveloped. And when you present something to us like that, you, you might see the worst of us. Love you or not, we may behave in a way that's unexpected. You going to put us on live? Now, what will happen is they'll move out get with another individual, have a relationship with them, and when things don't go right and they're fed up, they'll act just like this. Now, here's what's crazy. While they're acting just like this, it's like they're thinking that you as a person who's not their parent, okay, the person that they meet in, in the relationship, right, that's not their parent, they're acting like this person has to put up with anything. I've seen the same things. I've seen a man telling a woman, look, you gotta go, it's, 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 all, it's time to go. You're putting me out, you can do that, you can do that? Act like I, like I can behave any kind of way and still live under your roof, treat you any kind of way, speak to you any kind of way and still live under your roof. And if the man says, get out, oh, he's wrong. You victimized me, now I don't feel safe. Yo, you can't push somebody past their boundaries and expect them to just say, okay, let me give you some space. No, they will say, get out. That's exactly what will happen. And if your parent will do it, you know another person will do it. But this has happened to them at, at home. Now they come into your house doing the same shit to you. Their own parents wouldn't put up with them. And when you're confronting them, they're gonna distract from everything you're saying and act like you're crazy too. But by now they should get it. My own parent wouldn't put up with this nonsense. Nobody else certainly is going to. But they still won't change. Why? Because we live in a society that they can run to that tells them you're okay. It's everybody else's fault for not accepting you with your bullshit. But are they accepting of others? Are they accepting of others, y'all? Think about this now. No. Yo, I think it's really sad that people are so fragile that you can't tell them about themselves without them trying to flip it back on you, even though you're making clear ass points they will never acknowledge your point. They'll only say something else to distract. And when you get frustrated with that, that is your fault too. So you can't talk to them about nothing because they're, they're as good as the agents on the matrix at dodging everything you say, but then want to hold you accountable to the frustration that you're under because they're dodging everything that you say. When you get so frustrated that you say, I can't do this anymore, man, you gotta go. Oh, that's your fault too. And you'll be sat there for hours trying to explain something to somebody who behaves that way. Start making the moves in your life without any thought for what they think. Because you're making them based on their behavior. You don't need them to agree with it. So this does not need to be some type of debate. Here's the decision. You got to go. It's that it. It's, it's that simple. You can't control them, so do without them.
People are looking at this video telling this 19 year old woman that the mother's wrong. She should understand you. She, she should be more understanding and have an open mind. None of these people are taking into account that they are raised in a totally different era. And you sitting and asking them to accept some new stuff that you're doing that completely disagrees with their upbringing. Yo, when we raise our children, we're not thinking about 10, 20 years from now, life is gonna look different. Like the last video where the father's putting out his gay son and the son is saying, is it cause I'm not a basketball player or a football player? I, I didn't make you proud, daddy. Night. What's the don't care about Is it because I'm not a basketball player? Down. Is it because I'm not a football player, Daddy? I didn't make you proud. Like, come on. Man, when we when we have our children, man, we can see them doing all these things: playing basketball, football, uh, being on a cheerleading team, whatever it is. That from your mind frame, from your era of time, that you see your child participating in these things, probably you you participated in. You imagine doing these things with your child that you that, that you did as a child, right? Going and supporting them in different things that you did. You're not thinking about they're going to grow up and do something totally different. Be on a stripper pole, be on OnlyFans, do prime, sell drugs, turn out to be gay. Our ego gets involved. They're not understanding that this is not just mean parents. We're humans, man. We are underdeveloped in areas just like they are. Some things we can't stomach just like anybody else. What they're thinking is that because you're my mother or father, you're supposed to put up with anything. Man, when they have their own children, they'll change that shit up. That's why you gotta let the universe teach. For the universe is the greatest teacher. Now we have this concept of God, God having a heaven or a hell. Hell being much worse than anything that you can do on earth. It's fire forever. There's nothing you can possibly do to deserve to burn forever. What's the lesson in that, right? Well, okay. Take God, let's take universe, let's take heaven or hell. Consequences are likened to heaven or hell. They seem to be way worse than whatever action that we do. And they seem to last forever. Example, you choose the wrong person to have a baby with them, that problem can last you your entire lifetime. Do you understand? Yeah, you just did a one act. And what came from that was an eternity of lessons, right? Now these lessons can make you better or worse. But all in all, the universe will be the greatest teacher, even if it has to show you better than it can tell you, right? Now, people are going to try and stir you the right way and advise you the right way. That's the telling you. When people don't listen, let the universe teach them and the universe don't talk. It show. Do you understand? Now, my message to parents is this. You are supposed to support your child. But more than that, you are supposed to structure your child. Support, uplift, stand behind, understand, structure, give direction, give rules discipline why am i standing behind something that i know is going to be catastrophic down the road i'm not going to support you in those things so what we what we've done if we, we is we've supported our children in every single decision they make in favor of their emotions not the outcome so now when you tell them you ain't you ain't here for what they're doing they have to leave now they don't understand it they're thinking you're supposed to support them now Listen, guys, I left religion a long time ago and did not understand why my family turned, turned that face against me. Because I wasn't doing something that was bad behavior. I studied. I realized there was no reason for me to believe. I stopped believing. But I have to understand they brought they were brought up in a certain way of thinking. Now, what's crazy is I didn't even expect them to turn the way they did my church, any of that because I was coming back to teach them something thinking I was setting them free. But I full well understood that if I did certain things that the Bible spoke against, they would turn on me because that was their way of thinking. I, I understood that much. So parents, I think we're doing something wrong whenever we don't hold our children accountable to the philosophy we believe in, even the religion we believe in. We're sitting here being supportive of them that something their own God would put them in hell for. And we think we're wrong as parents. Their own God is telling you, if you do this, I disregard you. I'm not saying that we should be those type of parents to outcast children for their beliefs. But I'm saying when it's certain behaviors that you know is bad for your heritage and lineage down the road, you got to understand when your children are doing this blatantly, it's something we missed here. Is that always the case? No. Sometimes you can teach a child and give them everything that they need and give them everything that, 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 you, that they could ever hope for and they'll still turn on you. They'll still go against your, your beliefs, your way of life and all of that. 
But for the most part, guys, we are failing to discipline our children. Let's take this situation for example. Okay, do you believe this daughter knows how to make money on her own? Or do you believe she was likely treated like a baby bird, fed her whole life without having to go out and earn it on her own? Likely the latter, right? Now, it's, it's possible that she could actually know how to make money in other ways and have life figured out and chose to do OnlyFans because it's a faster way to make money. Maybe so. But most of what our children are doing is because they don't know any other way. So discipline family first, we got to teach our children to do the things around the home that maintain their health, that maintain the cleanliness of the home. And if they're not doing that, we need to be disciplining them to do it. It needs to be a program where they do it every day, not a punishment where you're whipping them or you're making them do it because they've been bad. Now, now you got to do, do chores because you've been bad. No, you should keep your, you should make the bed up that you, you should make your bed up that you sleep in, right? This helps them to understand that whatever whatever life you create, you got to live in it. You know, the universe is your greatest teacher. Why are you making the bed for them? All that's going to turn into is, for, is you cleaning up their messes. All that's going to turn into is them coming to your house, cleaning out your fridge and taking all your washing detergent and taking it back to their house or washing their clothes at your house. That's what it's going to turn into because they won't actually be independent. And you have to understand, children are always trying to fight for their independent, independence. And it's us as parents that slow them down because we're not ready yet. Our children are fully capable of doing these chores and things. Ladies, you don't like doing all those chores and stuff? You say, I don't want to have to cook every day. I don't want to have to clean every day and take care of some man. Well, the tribe is supposed to take care of that. The children are home with you. Structure them, discipline them. Let them help you around the house. When they're old enough, teach them the things that you have learned to make money. That way, whenever they're grown, they can do at least that to make money. But we have to see, okay, what's coming out of our children? It's got to be some type of result of our discipline, too. And what we're hating is what we see. But what we're seeing is how we raised them in, act, in action. You may, maybe you didn't tell them to be this way. But in our action, our lack of spending time with our children, you got to understand, yo, that's going to create something. Because when we're not spending time with them, where are they? What are they soaking up? What are they doing? That's likely what they'll turn into. Now, we typically don't have like, like that type of structure or culture at home. But when they go to school, they got that type of culture where everybody agrees with these low vibrational ass things. It seems to make them cool, seems to get them their, their uh, right of passage to being an adult, sleeping around, doing low vibrational stuff. And you didn't raise them for that. What do you think they're picking it up? Don't let the matrix have your children. All right. My message to the children. We are supposed to be the cycle breakers. Okay, not the curse creators. If our parents didn't do certain things in their life, this likely becomes the, the demons that we face, right? If they have bad eating habits, we'll probably be, probably be prone to liking those certain foods, even in our genetics. This is the wall we'll have to fight to make it better for our family. Don't look at your parents as absolutely perfect. Don't, they're passing you a, bat a baton and that is made up of what they know. It's just who they are. I am that I am. They like to think what they're giving you is the greatest, but they're giving you themselves and that's all they can do. You should care about the legacy that you're going to leave, not just the thing you want to do in this moment. And what this world is going to teach us at, when we're growing up in life is that all that matters is this moment, how you feel right now. But that's not true. So break the cycle. Let's stop creating these cycles, man. Our parents trying to tell us things that are wrong from their point of view. We should listen, not talk them around in circles. We're not trying to listen at these moments. And I'm starting to think about it. It's like, why do people talk in circles? You know, take, take a circle, for instance, a sphere, right? Notice it has no point whatsoever. Right? They're talking you in circles because they are failing to get the point. And whatever point that we're being given in that moment, we'll take our emotions to just miss the point and victimize ourselves. Why? Because the world taught us to do that rather than be accountable. You have to think that's for us to assess that and say, I'm going to be accountable regardless, because if I don't, the universe is going to teach me through consequences. And then it's going to recreate that cycle. And now here you are looking at your child and you're going through the same thing your parent was going through the day that you turned on them. And you'll see it's not easy to see. It's not easy to handle. Spend time with your parents as much as you can. Go to your parents. Tell them you want to spend time with them and learn what they know. Now, if you know that you're growing up in age and you don't know how you're going to make money, your parents are taking care of you. They may be failing to teach you because they just don't know any better. Please go to them and say, hey, can you teach me how at least you make money? How at least you learn to survive? I'm going to need those tools going down the road. 
I'm sure they would love to teach you. And if they can't find, if they can't teach you, they should find someone. And if they can't, and if, if, if they don't know it, um, children, young men and women, go somewhere else and learn it. Take your development into your own hands when you see your parents lacks, lacks the ability to teach you something. And don't blame them for it. Because think about this, you want to be understood by them, right? So let's also try and understand. That's all. Peace, family.